All right, good Friday morning, everybody. It is 541, and what a beautiful day we had yesterday. We got all the way up to 62, degree, to 62 degrees out at Westover yesterday. That's where the official records are kept, and we broke the old record for the date of 58 degrees. So what a warm one yesterday, at least for December standards, right, for this time of year. And I think today we're going to be back up into the 50s. Not record-breaking today, but it will end up being another beautiful day. In fact, I think we'll see a little more sunshine today compared to yesterday. So sunny and mild, but big changes on the way for tomorrow. We do have a wintry mix that is on the way. So some wintry weather for your Saturday. And then Sunday, it's dry, but it's chilly, and it will certainly be feeling more December-like as we go into the weekend, but it isn't right now. We're at 49 degrees still. We do have a breeze out of the north right now at 12 miles per hour, so it is bringing in slightly cooler air. Temperatures will come down a few more degrees, and then we'll top off between about 50 and 55 by this afternoon, and we'll do that with quite a bit of sunshine as well. We have this clear, clear sky across uh, the northeast right now with weak high pressure that's in control. Meanwhile, we have moisture streaming out of the Ohio River Valley. This is going to slide to the north while the colder air moves in overnight tonight and into the day tomorrow, and then that will bring the moisture in our area, but as it is doing so, as it bumps into that colder air, we're seeing, well, wintry precipitation. So it looks like it'll start tomorrow morning, maybe as a mix, going over to snow for a few hours, and then likely going with a sleet, freezing rain, and then maybe even plain rain in the lower valley before it ends tomorrow night, and then we'll dry it out as we go into Sunday. Not a huge storm, not a huge snowstorm by any means, but for some of us, it will be the most snow that we've seen so far this season. No frost to worry about this morning with temperatures that are way above freezing. So as the kids head off to the bus stop, just a light jacket and then maybe a light jacket as they're heading home. Upper 40s as they head out, mid, low to mid 50s as they're heading home with quite a bit of sunshine. So the precip moves in tomorrow morning. It will be light. It'll kind of come in, start and then stop, start and then stop during the morning. It may come in as a little bit of a cold rain or a mix, but as it picks up in intensity, it'll bring down the cold air aloft and it will go over to snow and it'll come down steady for a few hours tomorrow afternoon into the evening. But while the afternoon is going on, mild air is getting involved again, especially high in the sky. So that'll cause this change over to sleep, freezing rain, and then maybe even plain rain in the lower valley as temperatures inch up above freezing and through the 30s. Highest amounts of snowfall will be along Route 2 in points north. The lowest amounts will be in Greater Springfield along the Max Pike in points south. All of Western Mass is under a winter weather advisory. So putting that together, we're thinking one to three inches of snow in Greater Springfield. Where we get that snow, then a change over to a mix during the afternoon, and then in the evening, maybe even some plain raindrops. But either way, it's going to create slippery travel tomorrow afternoon into the evening. Northampton to Greenfield, it's snow, then going over to a mix two to four with some glaze on top of that. And north of Route 2, that's where it would be mainly snow into southern New Hampshire and southern Vermont, where you could see maybe four or five, maybe even six inches of snow, especially in higher elevated uh, areas in northern Berkshire county but today beautiful sunshine 50 to 55 things going downhill for the weekend but at least the sun is back on sunday blustering and chilly with temps in the mid 30s all right more weather in a few minutes jordan back over to you Okay, thank you, Dan. Well, a Western Kentucky family who lost a prize photo in the recent tornadoes was amazed to find it had traveled 2 